Hello, whole class. Get ready to look at the counters on the plates. And as soon as you see them, tell me how many you can see on each plate. Are you ready? Off we go. <gasps> how many is there? Two. Well done. How many is there? Fantastic. One. How many is there? Well done. Two and one more. Three. Did you do that quickly? Great. Now I can see a little tiny box. And in this box, somebody has put some tiny little objects. They fit them into this box. This box is a little matchbox. You might have one in your house, but you've got to ask your grown up first if you can use it. Hmm. If you haven't got a little matchbox for today's lesson, try and find another really small box or a tiny container where you can put things. Let's see. What's inside? Lots and lots of small things. Wonder how many things are inside. I can see a little candle for a cake. A matchstick, a paper clip, a small key, a current, a piece of pasta, um, a little flower decoration, a safety pin, a button, I don't know what that is, a little piece of wood maybe, a goggly eye and a penny. Whoa! What a lot of things to fit inside a box. Wonder how many things were inside that box. Look, if we use a five frame like this, we can tell that there's five here. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, <gasps> six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve little objects inside that tiny box. Gosh, today I'd like you to do the same job. I want you to go on a hunt inside your house and find as many things as you can that will fit inside either a little matchbox or another type of box or container. So make sure you think about the size and the length of each object and whether they will fit inside and how many objects can you fit inside it all together. That's your job today. Okay, see you soon. Bye.